So last night I paid a little more attention and realized that there's a place called uh, Cordage Park over here. And uh, even though the Cordage Company shut down many decades ago, um, I just found the previous location of the Plymouth Cordage Company. Um, the stamp on the front says 1885. Um, it's not actually, of course, the Cordage Company anymore. There's the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Jordan Hospital, Medical Care, um, a couple other business type things over here, but uh, that was pretty interesting. Okay. Let me go for a quick little walk here. That was Bourne Street. in this little short block down here. You can see it. South Spooner Street. There's also North Spooner Street and a rope block lane. Um, I might try and film those later, but really I need to get going on other things. This is basically right across the street from where the uh, Cordage Park is. This is also where the tea station is. I'm about to enter uh, Mystic Seaport. Uh, hopefully I can find some information about the Plymouth Borders Company. Um, so I had to come all the way to Connecticut to find out something from Plymouth, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I found it. Um, the uh, original rope walk that's part of the Plymouth Port. Plymouth Cordage Company. Um, it's in Mystic Seaport in Mystic, Connecticut. Um, it's a portion of it. It's about a quarter of the length of the original rope walk as it was transported here. Um, kind of there. Here's the skivvy length and I do the scale of this. <laughs> that a And now inside the uh, rope walk for the Limited Cordage Company. I'm actually upstairs now where they have uh, some of the spinning equipment. The uh, picture of Horn Spooner. Mom, Mom, look! Some Mom, information. Dad, yeah, look! It's just broke that. Mom, Mom! Where's Mom? Up here! So this is the rope walk. Just keeps going. I'm sad. One of the main reasons I was coming here, aside from the rope walk, was to do some research at the library. Cause they have apparently basically all the records of the Portage Company in this library here. But I get here, and I know that it's not legible, but the library is open from 12 to 5, Monday through Friday. And from 11 to 4, usually on the first Saturday of the month. I love that usually part. Um, it's the second Saturday of the month. I didn't see any information about this beforehand, so I'm a little disappointed. But um, what can you do?